What's up everyone, it's TK here, TK with the car here with a video as you see by the title Winter 2020 anime Maybe a bust Well actually you look like it is a bust for me personally Which means it's like a day, it's a failure It's not really anything that's really interesting to me like Or has my attention like I was expecting it to be Um, I think that was about like 8 animes that I was planning on watching. There was one that it had no description of. It was called Heya Camp. Uh, it turns out that's like a two man episode anime. So I just dropped it. I'm not gonna wait every week for two minutes of anime. We really ain't gonna get no good story or solid plot or anything like that. Just, I can't get into those. Um, I have watched some in the past before, but all the episodes was already out when I happened to come across it. But uh, I dropped that. Um, there was one anime, it was about these girls, these girls that wanted to become animators. I think there was going to be pretty creative stuff with this anime, which they showed, saw, showed off some of their creativity with this anime. But, uh, I'm pretty, uh, good and accurate when it comes to determining something that I will like and not like. Uh, I'm, it's very easy for me to do that with, like, video games. Like, I know what game I will like and play and what game I will not like and not play. And if I do end up playing the game, it just proves my point. Like, cause I, there's been times where like, I probably get a game free. I'm like, yeah, I knew I was gonna like this game. That's why I didn't buy it. You know, I'm good with determining that type of stuff just by looking at it. So I was looking at Zen a couple of minutes went in. I wasn't really feeling it after a couple minutes went in, but I did, I did pull through and watch it all the way to the end just to see what I was, uh, what it was working with, I guess. Um, it just damn it just would interest me like that, and I'm pretty critiquish when it comes to certain animes. Like I like to critique things. I like critique, critique things in movies too. A lot, like especially horror movies. But uh, one thing that kind of threw me off the character didn't exactly look like a girl. Uh, only reason I noticed it was a girl because the character was wearing a skirt and. At one part, one of the girls actually called the character a girl. Um, the character did have a kind of, I guess, a girl name, but it looked like a boy. It sounded like a boy. Uh, that's that's me just being critiquing things right there. But I just didn't really feel the anime. I, I wasn't catching my attention, so I will watch one one episode of that. Then I'm probably going to drop it. I just want to see can it pull me in by giving it one more episode to. Yeah, just try to get one more chance. Uh, it's another anime I was really looking forward to. We watched my highest anime in the season, 2020 winter video. This was probably the one I was looking forward to the most. It was called Orphan Something. It's like a magic fantasy type theme anime. It's about like this guy. He's like a he's a sorcerer. He's kind of like I think they say he's like a money launderer or whatever it is. But I thought it was gonna be like a pretty comedic, funny type of anime, which looks like it does have a little bit of comedic type stuff inside of the anime. But off the bat, the plot doesn't seem that intriguing to me, and I didn't like the voice of the character. Like the main voice, the voice of the main character, uh, it doesn't it didn't suit the character. It doesn't suit the character to me. I personally don't like the voice. It doesn't fit the character how I was expect the character to sound. And that is kind of crucial for me when I watch anime. I want the voice to kind of match the character, and it doesn't really match the character to me, to be honest. Um, but I will watch an episode of that, and if I'm not feeling it, that's going to be dropped. So that's three animes right there. That's well, I already dropped one for sure, and we got two that's definitely about to be dropped. If I'm not like on the next episode, so I just I just mentioned this one, the orphan thing, and the one with the girls being the animators and stuff. Um, I actually, it's like two inmates I didn't see yet. I'm gonna watch it probably later today or tomorrow. Uh, and see if I like those two. Or will it save the winter season for me? Because I'm not, I'm not watching much stuff. I don't watch pretty much barely anything. I pretty much just watch anime, watch a couple movies if there are any out that I, I am interested in. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, so, yeah, the next anime, um, I actually picked up some animes that I didn't think I was going to like, actually. I got my list up right here. I'm talking about stuff that I, wanted, I was looking forward to first of all. Alright, Darwin's Game. 
I didn't mention it in my video because somehow I, I closed the tab and I forgot about it. But this is, this is like a tough game type of anime. It kind of reminds me of Future Diary because uh, it deals with like a death game and it's connected to your phone. Um, you're not getting like future texts or on events stuff like that. But you pretty much it's pretty much about this boy. He gets an invite from his friend that just died later that just died the previous night because he was trying to get some help from him. Don't know how the friend was expecting this dude who's unaware of the scheme to come in and help him. But uh, yeah. He invites his game. Another one of his classmates is part of this game too, and he's worried because he hasn't heard from the guy that just died the previous night. Only us, the viewers, see the part of the friend being killed. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much a death game. Uh, like I said, the point is up. You can the invite. He ends up joining the app. Uh, like as soon as he clicked on the app, some phenomenon happened. A snake come out. A snake come out and bites one neck. Only he can see this, but. A snake comes out of the phone environment and then he's he goes unconscious. The friend is waiting outside the nurse office for him and he's pretty much trying to he's not exactly he didn't exactly explain to him, but it's like yeah, you should stay you should go home and stay stay there tonight. I'll come by I'll come drop by and fill you in. Cause there's something important that's going on, you know, what not. Um he decides to go go home early and on his way home from the school, he opens up the app again. I think the app actually sends a notification, I think. But pretty much, he has the avatar, and it was like, game begin. And it showed him versus this panda person. This person's wearing a panda mascot suit. And he noticed that the panda person is in the train with him. He thinks it's a joke. He's being attacked by the panda, and he still thinks it's a joke. He's being a stupid character, pretty much. He's being dumb. He's like, are you for real? And this, these dudes trying to freaking stab him with a knife. He's being stupid. But he ends up running and getting away from him. Um, he kind he gets cornered at one part. He gets cornered because he tried to get help from a police officer. The police officer gets his neck sliced by the panda dude. The boy that was that I mentioned earlier, his classmate. That was that knows about the game. That was like I'll fill you in later. Like don't go, don't go anywhere. Stay home, and whatnot. So he came, he comes in, he helps them. They escape, they hide and stuff. The friend then got stabbed by the panda dude trying to help him and stuff. And uh, he's pretty much just trying to get a feel or like knowledge of the game. Um. And I, th I think I think you don't actually have to kill the character. You can just like do. A certain amount of damage to the the character, and you could win that way. So the the little help he had from his friend, pretty much kept him alive as he hid in the wait for the time to like run out or whatnot. But uh, this is I did a long I just did a long talk of this anime, didn't I? I think this is an anime I will be continue to watch. First episode you get to see is like a good hour long. Um, but it does remind me kind of Future Diary. You have this girl character that is crazy, I guess you say. She's crazy. Um, again, the Future Diary vibe for me. But uh, I'm going to keep watching. We're going to see how it goes. Alright, next anime. Um, so, two of them, like I said, two of them I haven't watched yet because I haven't seen the episode of yet. But we have one anime I was just another one I was looking forward to and it seemed like it may be disappointing. Let me make sure my thing's still recording. Okay. So this anime is called Plunderer. I mentioned on my hottest uh anime Winter Twenty Twenty video that Funimation did an early premiere of this anime. I didn't watch only the premiere. I just ended up watching it today. Um this is anime where if everyone in this world have numbers and the number pretty much is determined by I guess the person's purpose purpose or where they're counting which that sounds kind of dumb don't it I can't even really explain it right uh, but pretty much let me just get the main character her number increases the more she travels the main the main uh, character 
one of the main characters, the, the dude. His number, I don't even know how it's even possible, but he's some special. He's he's special, but his number goes down every time he's rejected by a girl. Like his number is negative ninety nine, well ninety nine, not pretty much. That's his number. I don't know how it's negative. Well, that that's his that's his count thing I was saying about like this world kind of is ruled by the numbers like everyone is counting something and like if your number hit zero you pretty much get dragged to this abyss or hell or whatnot so you supposedly die or whatnot so somehow his number is negative like say 999 and he's he's supposedly someone that took part in this world like this I mean this war like 300 years ago and yeah um but let me just get to the point I'm trying to explain the whole plot and stuff like that this is my critiques of the end so far. This end, like I said, I watched like a, the premiere was like two episodes, it merged two episodes, two episodes together, so it's about an hour. So the, my first critique was the girl. I kind of didn't like the girl character. Um, she was very gullible and like an airhead type character, and I mean her goal seems to be to find this guy and she finds him in this first or well, in this first episode um but her goal is pretty much to her mother told her her mother as she was getting sucked in the abyss she was like find the legendary ace that's what she said and she gave her some stone so the girl she's looking for the ace dude don't know what she's gonna do after she finds him but they didn't really be, a good ex explanation for, or for the reason why to find this guy so that's not good to you like the plot is kind of dumb it's kind of dumb like she's, she's supposed to find this dude but for what for, for what though for what though just find him and have him protect her because she's weak or something I don't <laughs> I, I, I didn't get the I don't get the plot I don't get the plot and the character like the character she's pretty gullible and stuff and she's kind of like the character gullible, uh, airhead, stupid type character. Um, she's desperate too. She's pretty. She was really desperate to find this dude. She was. She was so. She was, that's how gullible she was. So that some dude tricked her, and she was. She was being so stupid. It kind of. It kind of annoyed me, to be honest. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It kind of annoyed me. Uh, I'm gonna watch one more episode. Give him. Give it a try. But that means I was spending some good things from the anime but it might get dropped along with all the other animes I mentioned except for Darwin's game so far Darwin's game is look like it looks like the only anime I'm gonna be watching at this moment maybe along with the uh, two I just picked up that was I wasn't expecting to watch so the one I wasn't expecting to watch it's called Sentin Academy join the pack I believe let me see it's well, the English name is okay. The English name, yeah, the English name is Sentin Academy. Join the pack. This anime takes place in a world where animals and humans cohabitate with each other. So there are characters that are actually looking like their animal form. There are some characters that look like an animal and a human. Well, animal human traits like they got a zebra character. She's like a normal human, but she got like zebra ears and like a zebra tail. And they got rabbit girls that is actually a human looking person but they got like right ear and tail you know what I'm saying so this is a world feel feel like that and we got like a human character as a main character he hates animals uh he ends up he ends up angering this this wolf girl this little wolf girl character because he he threw something at her at the opening ceremony he didn't mean to hit her he was trying to hit someone else but she gets mad and whatnot he ends up meeting her again at lunch in uh She's she tries to get him to join her pack, her little wolf pack. She don't have she don't have any members, but she's trying to get him to join the pack or whatnot. Uh, it seems pretty comical, pretty uh, like I said, pretty comical. Uh, I'm actually digging it. I'm actually, I wasn't too sure. I was like, I'm not sure about these these different animals because like they got like a T Rex character. Used to be like a, a real T Rex. T Rex. They got some beer and stuff. Not gonna be for everyone, but I think I'm going to like the anime. Seems pretty funny, pretty comical. The plot kind of has me a little interested, you know, kind of seeing what's going to go down with 
this boy, this human boy with this this wolf girl. It got another human girl in the show too, but we just like one human girl. But it seems like it's gonna be a pretty good enjoyable anime, so I picked that one up and added it to my list. So Darwin's game and the Sentinel Academy joined the pack is the two dumb this is looking like I'm definitely going to be watching for this winter season. We got another one. Uh, I don't know the English name, but I actually read a little bit about this before. It's like the plot is pretty much this girl. She met a boy when it was kids. It was on some kind of the camp thing. The boy seemed very knowledgeable about stars and stuff. And they pretty much made a promise that it was going to find a star and name and after the boy. Which the boy turns out to be a girl. She just looked pretty boyish as a kid. They reconnect. They join this club. They they meet in this club actually. It's, they meet in this club and they pretty much are talking about astronomy and things of that nature. And they kind of trying to bond and stuff like that. It's not nothing really serious. Like a little lighthearted anime with all girl characters as the focus. I might continue to watch this anime. It was just something that I randomly picked up and watched because I was looking for something to watch at that point. Because uh, I don't think the season had even started. I don't think like stuff I wanted to watch had started. Another anime that started that I was looking forward to, which seems to look like I will con I will continue to watch, is the Somali and the Forest Guardian. This was one of my top uh, looking forward to anticipated animes because like it's gonna be a pretty good one. It's this human girl. She's one of the she's one of the very few humans left in this world uh, we kind of got like a background story on like why it's not that many humans pretty much the humans was talking trash about the these creatures in this world and they ended up going to war they ended up going to war and pretty much humans lost the war so it's very few and if there are any they're probably like slaves or something so as far as Gary he he doesn't leave the forest. He's to do his pretty much kind of to protect the forest, but he finds the girl as a child, and he's pretty much raising her. And it's like it's going to be like a little nice story that unravels. They're traveling. I think the guardian he's he's looking for other humans so he can have her be with some of her kind. Cause this forest guardian he doesn't he has a, a everyone has their own lifespan. So this this guardian I think he is close to his his uh, age, so he's gonna be dying kinda soon, so he's kinda looking for another human, so they could look after her, she could be with her own type of kind, so there's gonna be a little nice story going on there. So Darwin's Game, Somali and the Forest Guardian, Sentin Academy, Join the Pack, those are the current animes as of now that I am watching for this season. We have another anime that hasn't started exactly yet, well it actually starts today, I haven't seen the episode yet. It's called Natsu, Natsu uh, Nagu. This is the hurricane uh, anime when the, this girl, she's supposed to be going to a certain part of Tokyo to look for her friends, but she hasn't gotten in contact with them after she has been in contact with them after this hurricane has happened. So that anime looks like it's going to be promising. I haven't watched the episode yet, but I will be watching it until tomorrow so I can see if that will be something I will currently watch for the season. There's another anime, it's Hanako something something. I know it's pretty much like this home spirit living inside the, the girl's bathroom or something like that. Don't know the exact reason. I forgot the, the description for it, but that anime might be something I might want to watch because it's dealing with like Seven Wonders and it's going to be comedy. And it's going to be a comedy type anime. I like comedy anime, so that may be watched. But besides that, I think that's all the animes I'm watching for this season. Or I had to watch for season, so it's only like four enemies that I possibly will be watch for a season. Like I said, I'm dropping. I dropped one already, and there's two that's looking like it's going to be dropped if I'm not liking the next episodes. And uh, I'm still waiting for it. I'm still waiting for my uh, Goblin Slayer movie to come out. I know that's going to be good, but that's just a movie though. That's not a series. Let me see what else before I close off this video. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not that many anime I, I picked up for this season. Yep, the one with the girl with the seven wonders. I 
the one I was talking about, that one. Yeah, wait, let me see this one. Is this one that I read for the season? Let me see. I'm not sure if this was one or that one. I got a lot of unaired stuff. I'm not planning to watch this. I'm not sure if this is part of the season or that. Oh, this is, this is part of the season. Okay, well, this one hasn't started yet, so I'll do an update on that one later on. But yeah, so far, what, I've, what I have seen, this winter season is looking like a bust. So I'm not going to watch that me anime of this current season. I still do have anime from like years ago. Anime, well, anime that started years ago. Like Baruto, got Black Clover. I got the anime from last season, The Hero, No Zora, which is the basketball theme anime. I still got Welcome to Demon's Clue, Arume. And then, like I said, the new additions that I mentioned earlier in the video that I might continue to watch in some day are definitely looking like it's going to be dropped. Oh, yeah, My Hero Academia, until watching that too from last season, which is looking pretty, pretty good. But yeah, I was bored. So I did a video. I took a long time, didn't I? 21 minutes. God dang. If y'all watch this, always the end. Leave a god dang comment. But anyway, to take a door scar. You can leave your thoughts and stuff too about the animes I mentioned or how you feel about the season if you want. If you even get to this part of the video, which I highly doubt. But I don't really care. I'm kind of bored. I want to talk and that's what I do when I bored. I want to talk and make videos like this. But anyways, I'm out. Adios. Peace.